the last time, the last time we had Success Academy here, uh, I had a chance to come up on stage and give a three-minute lecture about the products, about my experiences, and now I'm here for 25 minutes. How, how did that happen? <laughs> okay, um, I'm, I'm trying to learn the technology as I go here, so let's start with slide one. Um, I'm going to talk today a little bit about starting your day right with Atomy, and uh, this is very important for all of us, especially for our future. So as uh, we prepare ourselves to go out into the world every morning and, uh, and uh, go and uh, go to work or to uh, go and promote Atomy, we need to be happy and healthy, right? Yeah. All right. So... There's a ton of products out there that are going to help us to do this. And um, today I'd like to go through some of these products and give you my experiences and a little bit about what I know about them. Now, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to talk about, uh, my background is in Chinese medicine. I'm, I'm a uh, doctor of Chinese medicine, and it just so happens that my office is right next door to the Atomy Northwest Center. And so it was very convenient for everyone in the Atomy Northwest Center to just go next door and introduce me to Atomy and some new products like toothpaste and so on. So I soon became a member and um, I've been a member now for seven months. Not quite long enough to know all these products in detail and there's a few I haven't tried yet, but I'll do my best today to, to help you to understand some of them, especially from my viewpoint as a Chinese medicine doctor. So is this what your morning looks like? Jason, seven years ago, is this what your morning looked like? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to hopefully try to uh, change that today. So let's start again. Let's uh, take a few seconds to think about how our ideal morning would really look if we could control it. So what do you think? It could be quite different, couldn't it? Well, most of the time, our morning is going to be much better if we prepare the day before a little bit in the evening for what our morning could be. And one of those ways to prepare is, let's say we come home from work and we're not feeling so well, things didn't go well at work, maybe we're a little run down, maybe we're starting to catch a cold. One of the first products we should reach for is our Hemohem, okay? And Hemohem is an amazing product for a lot of reasons. And let's take a look at some of those reasons. Um, it was actually developed by the Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute. Why? Because those researchers would uh, start getting uh, run down from working with radiation all the time. So their immune systems would go down, they would uh, start to suffer ill health, and the, and the uh, Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute decided to do something about that. They had to fix their scientists' health. So they uh, this is a little bit about uh, CARI, the uh, Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute. I'm not going to go too much into some of these slides, but, you know, for your information, this is uh, here. But the, um, the institute decided to uh, do something about the ill health. And so they researched it. They, they uh, spent um, eight years of research, a lot of money. Uh, they took uh, 15 PhDs and, and devoted them to this research and 30 other researchers. And they started going through different natural products like Chinese medicinal, medicinal herbs and um, other vegetables, fruits, other uh, products out there. And they finally came up with something that we now know as Hemohem. Hemohem, uh, as it turns out, has the properties of being able to build up the immune system. Um, it can actually build up blood. So if you are uh, anemic, this would be a very good product to use to help to uh, increase the amount of red blood cells and so on. It's been found to be anti-cancer. Now, you cannot go out there and tell everyone it's anti-cancer. But, for example, in my position, if, if I have a patient who has cancer, I could suggest that Hemohem might be something that uh, this patient looks into. Hemohem is also anti-inflammatory, and it's radioprotective, meaning that it will protect you from radiation so that that radiation will not uh, harm you. And um, you may not know this, but when you fly in airplanes, you're often exposed to a certain amount of radiation. So this is a, an excellent uh, product to help protect you in that case as well. 
Some of the ingredients of, of Hemo Hem are Angelica, Chuan Xing, Chuan, I'm sorry, Chuan Xiong, and uh, Peony uh, Root. And um, these are herbs that I use every day in my clinic. And um, I love the smell of them. I love how they work. They really work well. I can tell you from my experience that these are herbs that uh, show up in many, if not most, of my uh, herbal prescriptions. And so I personally have a lot of faith in these herbs. Um, some of the ways that, uh, that uh, Hemohem helps to uh, build up your health is through these, uh, these methods. Now, for all of you non-scientists out there, this probably means nothing to you, but for me, this, is, this means a lot, okay? NK killer cells, uh, these are very important to have intact and working to kill the uh, bacteria and so on that infect us, okay? And um, so through these methods, we can increase our health. Um, also, Hemohem is patented in many different countries around the world. So Korea, Japan, uh, four countries in Europe and the United States all have, uh, there are patents in all of these countries uh, for Hemohem. This is really important because it proves that uh, Hemohem has the activity that it's claiming. And if, you, uh, if you're research-minded and you go on pub health, uh, I'm sorry, pubmed.gov, uh, you'll find out that there's something like 137 different research citations for Hemohem. So this is, uh, this is really exciting because this means that it's been shown scientifically to actually have these properties. Now, the night before, right, we're taking our Hemohem, and while we're waiting for that to kick in and work, uh, we might want to think about doing a little laundry so we're prepared for our next day. We don't want to wake up in the morning and have no clothes to wear. So throwing a load of laundry in and using our liquid detergent is going to help us a lot. This is uh, a natural, many natural products in this um, detergent, and um, I love how it smells, how the clothes smell and feel after we've washed them. And we can also throw in a little fabric softener as well to make sure that we get that nice comfy uh, feeling in our clothes the next day. Okay, and while we're getting ready for uh, the next day and waiting for our clothes to be done, we can get out our evening care set and start to work on that. Now, um, I, in the past, have, have gone and had a facial and uh, felt really great afterwards. My skin was, you know, felt like it was brand new, like I was a little baby again. And so, <laughs> this is exactly what you can experience, too, in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to run out to the spa and, and get a facial. You can do it right at home. It only takes a few minutes. And uh, you get out your uh, different products. You start with your uh, deep cleanser which is going to get in there and remove any uh, makeup that's clogging up your pores. Um, I personally don't wear makeup, but, you know, I, I can attest that uh, pores often get clogged up for other reasons as well, and this is going to help get rid of those clogs. Next, you work on it with foam cleanser. This also gets in there and really helps to clean things up. And then you follow that up with peeling gel. So this one is going to help get rid of those uh, dead skin cells that collect on the surface. And um, finally, the most amazing one is the, the mask, okay? And so you can put this on, and a few minutes later, when it dries, you can peel it off, or you can leave it on all night and really get the effect the next morning when you peel all of those dead skin cells off. And so now you're revitalized, you look great. It's time to go and get your beauty sleep so you can really look great the next morning. Okay, good night's sleep, eight hours of sleep. And then the next morning when that alarm bell goes off, you wake up refreshed, you are ready to go. And uh, you might want to start your day with a cup of uh, coffee. Uh, Atomy makes some amazing coffee. And the reason it's amazing is because it is not just freeze-dried uh, coffee. It's not just granulated coffee. Back in the old days when granulated coffee first came uh, on the market, uh, people, would, um, people would kind of make fun of it because it was really kind of bad coffee. And so um, there was a manufacturer out there in particular that had started making uh, granulated coffee. And uh, people in Central America who speak Spanish would say, no es café, kind of on a play on words uh, about the name of the company. So they would say, no es café. No es café means this isn't coffee, okay? This is fake coffee. 
It's not really what they're claiming. Well, I can tell you that uh, the coffee that uh, comes from Atomy really tastes like coffee. And the reason for that is because uh, they not only put in the uh, freeze-dried coffee granules, but they also put in 13% of real coffee powder to make this taste like real coffee. Okay? And um, coffee itself has some amazing properties. It, it protects your uh, colon from cancer. So having a cup of coffee every day is not a bad thing. Um, also, if you like creamer and so on in your coffee, uh, Atomy makes a uh, version of the coffee with that creamer already in there. And you might want to start with a little breakfast as well, right? We, we should always start off our day with a good rounded breakfast. And so the first thing you can pull out of the cabinet is some grilled lava. So for you that are not familiar with lava, this is seaweed. Um, and in, uh, in uh, Eastern Asia, what they do with it is they might cut it, for example, into a strip maybe an inch and a half wide and then get some uh, rice and, uh, uh, that's been cooked and uh, form the uh, rice into a little ball and, and wrap it with the uh, lava. And sometimes you might put some tuna fish or something inside for a nice little uh, breakfast snack. And uh, as you're having breakfast, you might want to reach for your vitamin C. And I love this stuff because you see that little package there? That package is so handy to put on your shelf and then every morning you just reach for a little sachet of, of uh, vitamin C, rip the top off, down the hatch, and you're ready to go. No opening bottles or messing around with pills. Um, and don't forget your omega uh, threes as well because many of the foods that we eat nowadays do not contain omega threes. Uh, way in the past when cows and, and chickens were uh, fed on natural ingredients, um, everybody got a fair amount of omega threes. But nowadays when cows are corn fed and, and your chickens are corn fed, we don't get as many omega threes. Nowadays it mostly comes from fish. So having a supplement of omega threes is going to help a lot uh, towards your health. And you might think about uh, some uh, Hong Sam Don. <laughs> right? <laughs> so this is a famous product from Korea. Korean red ginseng is world famous. And uh, this is what, uh, what uh, Korea specializes in, and it's a beautiful product. Now, not everybody, of course, is going to need ginseng. But uh, if you're getting a little older into your 40s, 50s, or you're an athlete and you're com competing in things like marathons or long distance races, this is an excellent product for you to use. It's going to help with your immunity. It's going to uh, help you uh, resist uh, fatigue and uh, promotes blood circulation. And this is one of my favorite products. They're telling me I have 30 minutes longer. I don't know how they can think that. <laughs> OK. so. Uh, Probiotics are really important nowadays. Uh, mostly what's happening in our world today is that we're born with the right uh, bacteria and so on in our intestines. But over the years as we use antibiotics and uh, non-steroidal uh, anti-inflammatory drugs, those bacteria get killed in our abdomen that are good. And we end up with a really bad mixture of, of bacteria. And these bacteria end up causing many of the diseases that are chronic and that we just can't get rid of today. For example, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, many kinds of cancer, um, the, the hypothyroidism. The list just goes on and on. There are 33 diseases now that have been identified as being caused by bad bacteria in our abdomens. Um, when I started looking into Atomy probiotics, and I have to tell you, I'm not convinced until I study things. So as I was looking into these probiotics, I said, you know, we, I better make sure that these are really good. Um, so I went out there and first I, I went to the drugstore and I started looking at their probiotics. So I picked up one or two and when one of them didn't even tell me what the ingredients were in there. It just said, you know, we, we have our magic bacterial mix. What does that mean? Um, I, I had to go on the line and actually read the fine print in order to find out what kind of bacteria were in there. That's really wrong. Other, other packages would say, we have 50 billion probiotic bacteria in here. I'm like, 50 billion? Why 50 billion? Well, the reason is, is because 
They're not encapsulated, and, and it's lucky if you get any of these through your stomach where the acid is going to kill them and into the intestines. So they're not encapsulated. They have no way of getting through your intestines. Um, that's wrong as well. You know, you're wasting your money on a probiotic like that. And, and then I was thinking, you know, it would be nice if those uh, bacteria also have something to eat while they're waiting to get into your intestines. And, and the drugstore ones simply do not have a prebiotic, which is the food that the bacteria eat. Um, when I looked at Atomy, I was like, wow, they contain a, an encapsulation system so it gets into your intestines. There are prebiotics in there so that the bacteria have, have food to eat. It's kind of coded in scientific language, fructo-oligosaccharide, but that's the, the food for the uh, bacteria. So I'm like super impressed. I rip open my sachet down the hatch, and um, within a couple of days, it proved itself. My, my uh, intestines were perfect. So I encourage you to really try these. And it's so important for our health nowadays. If you want to avoid all those diseases that many people have that they can't get rid of, um, this is the thing to, to use to uh, help improve your health. Well, after breakfast, we better wash all our dishes, right? Some great dish detergent, and it's concentrated. You don't need to use a whole lot of this. And we also better brush our teeth. <laughs> this is the first product most people are introduced to, right? So um, it was my first product. Uh, the amazing thing about this toothpaste is it has propolis in there. Uh, no, no other company really can make propolis toothpaste like Atomy does. I've tried a few of the ones that try, and um, it's kind of like putting this, uh, it's kind of like putting car grease on your teeth and then brushing your teeth with car grease. That's kind of what it feels like. But Atomy has a way of manufacturing the toothpaste so that the propolis is water soluble and it, it's just, uh, it just feels like normal toothpaste which is great. You know, if you're going to use something great, it should feel great, and it should be great. Uh, propolis is a product uh, that bees uh, manufacture to protect their hives from bacteria, and so um, it's slightly antibiotic, and it's just perfect for your mouth. Where there's too many bacteria, and you need to kind of control those bacteria. It also has green tea extract in there, and if I'm not mistaken, a little mint as well. Um, so toothpaste is going to, of course, have all of the activities that toothpaste should have. Bad breath, fixed. Tartar, fixed. Dental uh, cavities, fixed, etc. And now we need something to apply that toothpaste with, so we better get out a toothbrush. And the uh, Atomy toothbrushes are just as amazing as the toothpaste. So f my favorite part of this is that it has gold particles in the bristles. Gold part, And you know what? These toothbrushes are really cheap. You wouldn't think they had gold in there, would you? I've thought about cutting off the ends and saving them so I wouldn't throw away all that gold, but in the end, I'd, I probably wouldn't have very much gold. Um, the bristles on these toothbrushes are rounded very gently so that it doesn't break open your gums. Um, and, you know, some toothbrushes are made in such a way so that they do break open the skin of your gums, and then you have room for a bacterial infection does not happen with anatomy toothbrush. And um, the reason the gold is in there is to stop infection as well. So when you put that toothbrush back on the shelf, uh, if it's the normal uh, you know, store-bought toothbrush after a few months of use, you're going to see a bunch of black stuff forming on the bottom, and that's all the bacteria growing. Well, that's not really good to use uh, that toothbrush in your mouth, especially if you're having your gums eroded and opened. So, Atomy toothbrushes are designed to avoid that type of activity. Um, and we just talked about these things, so we'll go on to uh, um, a, little bit, uh, a little bit of cosmetics just before we end. And I think my time is uh, getting pretty close to ending, so I'm going to have to speed up here a little bit. Uh, first of all, um, Carrie, the Korea Atomic Energy Research Institute, teamed up with Colmar to make a, a company called Colmar BNH, which actually makes all of our cosmetics. And uh, Comar is a uh, original development and design manufacturing company, and um, they have factories in different uh, places in Korea. And so uh, basically their business is to make uh, a huge amount of uh, 
uh, self-care products, especially cosmetics. They make cosmetics for a huge number of uh, different companies around the world. But they are unique in that every company gets their own special formulas and recipes. So the stuff that uh, is made for Atomy is, is not found anywhere else. No one else, you know, uh, sells what Atomy sells. So the first one I want to go over here very quickly is the uh, Skincare 6 system. Now, I'm not a big cosmetic guy, simply because I'm a guy. Uh, and, um, but I can tell you that, you know, there's some uh, interesting uh, production methods that are used to make these cosmetics. So first of all, everything is highly purified. They use fresh herbs in their products. Uh, they have a fermentation uh, technology and an encapsulation technology. And so first of all, nobody wants to put that uh, really ugly, dark looking stuff on the left side on their face. So a, a method has been made to uh, take these uh, herbal decoctions and take the color out of them. Um, and, and also, uh, fresh herbs can be used as well, and you can remove the color from them as well. Okay. Fermentation is for a few of the ingredients that are natural that get activated once they're fermented. And, and uh, this can also introduce uh, certain vitamins and so on, which um, we need in our skin. And finally, there's a method that's been made to uh, make these particles really, really small so they actually get into the pores of our skin. Okay, enough said about the technology. Let's go on to the product. So, six different products in here. The, the ones that uh, I want to talk about are the ones that I've really tried and found like to be super exciting. So, the cream. Um, and, you know, again, I'm always pretty skeptical until I try something. So, one night, uh, Charles Yeo, my uh, sponsor, uh, pulls out the uh, cream and uh, lets me try it, and I rub it on my hand, and then I promptly forgot about it, went home. And three days later, I was rubbing my hand across my face for some reason, and my skin felt really great, really smooth. Usually, I have really dry skin. It's kind of like sandpaper. So once I did that, I'm like, how come, I, how come my hand is so smooth? What happened, you know? Um, well, it turns out it was the uh, uh, nutrition cream. And so I was super impressed with that. No more dry hands. Okay. And how many of you know what BB cream really is? You love it, but I, I you know, when I first started, I, did, I had no idea what BB cream is. <laughs> well, ladies in, you know, ladies in East Asia, uh, Korea, Japan, and so on, they don't like to have dark skin. Um, lighter skin is preferred. And so when you go out in the sunlight and you get exposed to the sun, what happens? Your skin gets darker. Well, BB cream is a nice way to avoid that. It has a very, um, uh, very light uh, sunscreen in there to avoid darkening the skin. So you can put it on and wear it. Nobody knows you're wearing it, and yet you're protected from the sunlight. So great product. These are, uh, I don't think we have time to go through these individually, but um, I just uh, wanted to talk about... Uh, uh, those very quickly and we have a few um, other products that I want to run through until my time runs out. So um, if you have some skin that really acts up every once in a while, you have acne maybe, um, the AC Care Special is a great way to take care of that. Okay, and um, plenty of natural products in these herbs and so on. The Calming Care Special is another uh, set that uh, works on uh, skin that uh, maybe flares up, you have some issues with it. So this is a great uh, little solution for that as well. And I'm finally getting the time, that my, the sign that says, I'm done. All right, finally, 30, 25 minutes, I'm over. Okay. Uh, anyhow, we, we don't need to go through all of my slides, but I appreciate the opportunity to get up here and talk a little bit about some of my favorites, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.